Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to the Murder Beats drum tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what sounds Murder Beats usually reaches for, how he layers the sounds, how he sort of programs it to get that nice bounce and Murder Beats feel. So let's get straight to it. First things first, the tempo is extremely important to the feel of your track. Murder Beats usually goes between 140 to 150-ish range. We're going to go with a 141 beats per minute on this one. And um, we're going to draw in a four bar pattern and let's bring in our Murder Beats drum kits. Make it nice and loud. Uh, Murder Beats drum kit like that. All right, let's close that up. And let's start off nice and easy with our clap. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. A clap on the threes. Nothing too fancy, like I said. Let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And uh, we're gonna layer up this clap. Like I said, Murder Beats loves to layer up his drum sounds and the clap is just one of those sounds that he layers up. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna layer this fuller sounding clap with a snappier clap to make it punch a little bit more through the mix. So here's our snappier clap. We're gonna lower up this main clap so that snappier punchy clap comes through the mix a bit more and changes up the sound of this clap. So that sounds good like that. So once you mute one or the other, you start to miss the other sound. We just created an entirely new clap that was made with two sounds. One is snappy, one is fuller sounding, and you got yourself a Murder Beats clap. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in our kick. Let's duplicate this track over here. Let's turn the metronome so we just Feel the bounce. Uh, the kick usually starts off on the ones, just like that. The one there. So the kick is very sparse, not too many of them. It kind of lets the track breathe a little bit. Not too much layering on the kick over here. Next, let's go ahead and bring in the hi-hats, which is pretty much the feel of the entire drum pattern. Uh, what I like to do here is just paint in eighth note hits to start off. Uh, so let's go to our hi-hat. All right, so it wouldn't be a Murder Beats drum kit or drum tutorial without some stutters, some uh, change up in times. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll do a nice stutter over there, 30 second note stutter. Over here, do another stutter. We'll end off with a stutter over here as well. Like I said earlier, Murda loves to layer up his sounds. So let's go ahead and layer up this hat as well. Now this is more sharper hitting hi-hat. Let's add in a softer hitting hat to kind of layer up this sound and make a new hi-hat altogether. I believe the hi-hat was right there. So this one is softer sounding. This is more harder hitting, more clickier. So what we're gonna do here is lower up the harder hitting one. And kind of get that softer one sort of shining through a little bit to make it sound almost as if it's a shaker. Just gonna pan over the softer one a little bit. As you can see how nicely the hi-hats work together, a softer and harder hitting one. If you take away one or the other, it doesn't sound quite the same. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track. 
put that to zero and uh, let's go ahead and add in those open hats wouldn't it be a murder beats track without some open hats we're gonna put it at the let's change this up here put it at the end over here Now these, I find that he likes to push the open hats a little bit to the right, and they're also lower in the mix, not so loud. All right, next is going to duplicate this track, and uh, wouldn't be a murder beats track without some percussion hits throughout the pattern. Go ahead and add those in. So there's those classic Murder Beats percussion hits. Once again, we're gonna layer up that with a more fuller sounding one, sort of layered underneath it. This is sort of a wood block. This is more to fill up some of that lower end. Once again, whenever you're layering sounds, they should always complement each other. They shouldn't be able to hear sort of the separateness of them, just they should sound as one sound. All right, so that sounds good just like that. And next, finally, let's bring in the last element to our drum kit, and that is the 808. Let's go ahead and draw that in right now. Now there's an interesting thing that Murder Beats does with his 808s, they don't always sync up with the kick so usually a lot of producers just take the kick and layer that up with an 808 murder beats what he does sometimes in the pattern he sort of has the kick hit and then a couple beats later the 808 will hit so it'll go boom 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 so it'll kind of like stagger off of each other and give it a nice bounce you're gonna see what i mean in a moment what we're gonna do here we're just gonna start off with the simple 808 layered under the kick let's go do that right now let's get my 808 doesn't sound like my 808 is on mono. That one is layered up with the kick. So now we're gonna do that ba-boom sort of pattern hit right over here. So the kick hits on this over here. So we're gonna have the 808 come right after it. So you see how that sort of bounces like ba-boom. Gonna have the kick hit on the one again. It kind of lets you flow into the next pattern. It actually is a cool thing that he does that. Leave some room for the kick and 808 as well. Let's do that effect right here. And then at the end of the pattern, he usually does this sort of little 808 roll. So go ahead and do that right now. So there's pretty much your 808 pattern right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and find the kick in 808, just so you see how they hit off of each other. So here is the 808 pattern, and here's the kick pattern on top. The kick. So as you can see, the kick hits, and then the 808 hits after. It gives it that nice flow and bounce, 
and kind of adds a little rhythm to the track as well. So keep that in mind when you're programming 808s and kick in your future productions. So that right there is how do you get a murder beat style drum pattern for your logic users out there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. So you got a nice template to start off your murder beats type beat. For you non-logic users out there, got your back as well. You're also gonna have a template, except you're gonna get it in MIDI form. I'm gonna go ahead and export all these MIDI stems and include the drum kit used in this tutorial. You can find that as a playback in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this or just want to talk, let's chat in the comment section below. And if you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. See you.